Hey, how's it going class and anybody else on the web who wants to uh, learn how to install a Genesis or a child dependent theme into WordPress? It's pretty simple really. Um, typically a child dependent theme means you have to have a um, base theme which has all the functionality and then the child theme is which has all the, the, the rest of the functionality plus the layout and the graphics and the theming. So the way you do this is from the back end, you go to appearance, you go to themes, and you go to upload theme. You then choose the file, which in my case I'm going to load up the Genesis file, and I've already clicked on it and installed it. So now that's loaded up. You should see it down here somewhere. Let's see. Um, oh, well, it'd be in the new ones. So let's upload a new one but it's in here and now what we do is we go pick the child theme so this one looks like it's failing so we're having some issues alright let's upload another theme choose another file then you come and we would pick another theme so here's the parallax pro theme so I'm going to install that uh, let's activate that. All right, now Genesis is installed with the child theme. We picked Parallax Pro, so now we can go up here and since it's activated, check it out. And you can see this is it. This is Parallax Pro. Uh, this is our teacher. She uh, has her um, avatar on for the back end, so we'd have to switch this out with the clients. But uh, this is where we put his email address, and um, this the rest of this stuff would be for his feed if he wanted a custom feed, which we'll hook the feed up later. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the rest of uh, what is necessary to finalize this theme. So after we have the theme loaded up, you would go here to the widgets. And you'll see that the layout sections that it provides you. We're on the primary sidebar. That's going to be the sidebar for pages that you pick. Now, if you go to a page and you create a new page, which I'll show you here, and I create a new one, and let's call this uh, products. So, the products page is set up and then we can add products in here and we'll publish that. Now down here in the publishing options you'll see that you got different layouts for the theme. This first one here you see how it has a sidebar to the right and then this one has one to the left and this one's full screen. That's what that sidebar is for. So if we go back over here to the widget area you'll see that this sidebar here is full of the search, recent post, recent comment, the archives, some boilerplate stuff and this is what is going to be in the sidebar so this is the section you use to build the sidebar um, you can actually access these widgets area through the customizer I prefer to do it through the widget area because it's more open and you can see what you're doing now you see how these are blank and they have none now you see how the front page looks here with nothing in it so let's change that real quick let's go ahead and I typically find a, a blank HTML and I'll just throw that in there and I might just put a paragraph in there um, I'll type it out notice section one and I'll put like the header I'll just do that to label it real quick and then I'll just press save and close it and then keep doing that to open up the rest of the sections And see section two. Save it. And then we'll go down here to section three, which we'll drag that over there. Oh, sorry. And we'll put section section three. It's also good to go find the theme so you can see what it looks like. Um as as it's the the post theme that it shows you the demo theme um, you, so you go to studio press in this case 
and you would go look at the demo theme. I'm not going to do that now, but typically you'd want to do that so you can do a side-by-side -side comparison and um, start building it out. You put pictures and images, words in certain places and just kind of follow, follow the theme. It helps you get it done a lot quicker. But in this case, we're just going to label them. And, oh, I forgot to press save. And then here we're going to put the other HTML in here. Um, let's put another P and we'll put sec 5. All right, save. All right. Now, then you get the footer area here. I go ahead and we'll add one in there too because this is where he's going to want a table of his links, which we'll build a menu for that over here. And then we'll uh, add other links, and that's where you want to do some branding at too. So um, I'll just put it back there. Photo. Save it. This after entry, this is for other pages. Um, after entries, like after the comments and stuff, you can add stuff here. So I never really mess with the after entry part. So um, that's pretty much it. So now let's go back to the page and let's refresh it and see what's going on. And now you see all the sections are in there. See that? He's got his footer section there. He's got all the different sections in the front there. So what we need from Frederick, um, which if you're online, we're doing a mock-up model, and this is a teaching for WordPress, and using um, child-dependent Genesis themes, which Genesis has the best schema for WordPress around. Uh, they're fast and they're efficient for working with uh, search engine optimization, and they're not drowned down by plugins and too much JavaScript. Um, they're, they're really, really effective for search engine optimization being found. That's why I like using them. Now, we have to put in a little bit of special code down here, which I'll, I'll go over in class with, and I'll outline that in the video, but we need to get the images from our client, and we need to put them in here. Now, this section right here is for the menu, so we can go ahead and hammer that out real quick. So let's go ahead and go to the menu. So we don't really have a menu yet. So let's go uh, build a couple more pages real quick. So in order to build a page, you go to the pages, you add a new one. Well, let's see. I usually lay out all the pages first, even though they're blank, and then we'll build them. See, we'll have a products page. Um, WooCommerce is going to populate some boilerplate pages. So we need an uh, about page. So we'll go ahead and publish that. And then we're going to need to know the different context of the products he's selling, like the different types of styles of graphics. So this website is specifically for an artist, so um, we're going to put an art page. So just a specific art gallery. Now that should be enough because, like I said, WooCommerce is going to populate the, the rest of the thing. And then when we get ready to transfer it, we're going to put another plug-in called Backup Buddy, which is going to back this up, and then we're going to set this up on his server. Uh, that way you can have a live website. Now, let's go back to the menu. And let's go ahead and create a new menu. Let's go ahead and we'll call it um, Home Menu, Create. Um, I don't like automatically populating this because every time you create a page it's going to throw it in the menu so I leave that down there um, so we're going to press jelly about product let's not put the sample page in there let's add that alright we'll put the about first um, then you'll see products which we'll probably get rid of that once we turn on the other menu but we'll go ahead and save that and then let's go ahead and add a footer menu Uh, let's capitalize that. Alright, and uh, the footer menu will have the same, but it will show in different links. Okay, so now that those are built, um, we can go back here to the customizer. And this is where we'll do some of the work. So the site identity, we're going to want to put um, our client's name, which is Frederick. 
bonds and awesome animated graphic graphic art artist Tampa Florida it's important to put the city in there we don't have no images yet so we have to wait on our client so we'll go over here let's go to the background images we can see the images in here which we're gonna need his uh, the menus uh, this is where we're gonna go ahead and select the menu so let's uh, where did our menu go uh, view all locations select primary menu well I guess we even get them that's uh we'll call it header menu I guess I didn't take last time so let's create that and we'll go ahead and populate it like that add items um, home art gallery about products page and all right that'll work and we'll have those and let's see do, do, do. Widgets, that's the area we're just in. Like I said, you can access them through here, but you know, you got to put all your code and you're there. So let's go ahead and remove that because that wasn't the gallery and um, that was in the header, the right section of the header. We don't want that there. Uh, if we're going to put a gallery, we want it down here in another section. Home page settings, um, be your latest posts. So we're going to have to correlate some posts. Uh, the color scheme. Um, let's go ahead and do pink. Let's see what that looks like. Is that gonna? Oh, it's not gonna actually affect the header. So we'll do blue. All right. Well, I don't know. You might like pink. Let's go ahead and try pink. Pink's been a cool color for websites lately. All right, we got it set up full with content, archives. All right, so let's publish. Boom. Okay, cool. Now that we have that, and we got that, and there's with the pink. So you might not like that, but we can change that later if we want. Um, that's about it. That's how you load up the Genesis theme. You got to load the newest version of the the main Genesis, and then you load the child templates um, after it. You don't need to activate the Genesis theme first. The Genesis theme is just a basic, you know gears and guts of the WordPress theme and the, the child theme is what what actually has the theming on it has the design and all the CSS and everything that makes it cool so you only need to activate the child theme so like I said again you go to themes you upload the zip file you never upload files by yourself you always upload files that are zip files whether they're plugins or not speaking of let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead and add the WooCommerce plugin to this. So I'll just type in here WooCommerce. Um, this is going to type that in a little better. It's one word. There we go. One current. Let's go ahead and install that. And from a professional point of view, whenever you do a WordPress site, you couple plugins I'm gonna sh go ahead and put in here um, I don't want to set this up right now so because we need the client to do that so we'll, we'll skip that for now but that's gonna populate so let's go back down to plugins and add new here are a few plugins that are essential for a WordPress theme so Yoast this is gonna make sure he gets found and connects him to Google my business and everything that he needs to be found in the business directories to be searched for online. Very important plugin. You can't get found without this. It creates your site map and all kinds of other things. So we'll go ahead and activate that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a new one up here. And we're going to upload a few plugins that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and send these to you. So, um, doo -doo -doo. Um, let's see here. Plugins. Um, one of them is an accordion. We can go ahead and add that. But let's add. Well, we need backup, buddy, for sure. So let's go ahead and open that. Install that. 
because that's how we're going to back the site out. Very important to have a backup of a WordPress site. They work out excellent, but trust me, things happen with these sites. You want to back them up, even if it's just some Google Dropbox backup. Anything will work. All right, then um, let me go ahead and activate that, and we'll add a new plugin. We're going to add some forms, some gravity forms, and then um, let's see. There we go. Uh, back up here, add another one, and we'll add a couple more plugins, and then this thing should be good to go. Let's see, upload plugin, choose file. Um, let's just see where are my gravity forms. Gravity Forms right here. So we'll install that. And then you gotta, with Gravity Forms, install a, a plugin which I've directed our client to use MailChimp for his email services. So now this will all be taken care of. Okay, great. Now that that's done, we'll go ahead and add the MailChimp plugin that we'll need to set up. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'll upload that plugin. So that'll go right here, Gravity Forms MailChimp plugin. You see, I have all these plugins ready to go because I've done this a couple times. So we'll activate that plugin. All right, now let's get in here and we'll add a couple different features of some plugins. All right, we're going to add a awesome slider um, I'm gonna give him and we're gonna add uh, a couple other things here let me look at my iThemes folder uh, rotating text uh, seem to be used. Um, good embed let's showcase uh, if he's gonna want YouTube videos let's go ahead and add the accordion so he has that in him all right now let's add a new plugin, upload a plugin, choose file. Let's go ahead and we'll go out of this. Um, let's take gravity view, we don't want that. All theme packages. No, we don't want that. Um, what I'm looking for is speed refresh. Let me see what's in there. Nope. It's in here real quick. Well, he's probably going to want PayPal. So we'll uh, wait on that. See if he needs that. Let's see. We got BuddyPress. Um, he might want a chat plugin, floating social. That'll be a good one to put in there for him. I'm going to add a slider that is really super cool. Um, the Hugo JavaScript toolbar, flex camera, gravity forms. We've got gravity forms in there. Um, Hello bar is really cool to catch um, emails. I use that on a lot of different sites. Um, case Pro video background video showcase. Blue gallery, uh, push notifications. We'll do that last. You always want to do stuff that's and or connecting at last after you get everything designed out. You don't want to add a bunch of functionality when you don't have your design done because it'll make it really slow for you to try to get your design. Um, so we leave that stuff for last, like the push notifications. I'm trying to find this plugin for a really cool. Um, Let's see, animate it. Um, they can animate things. Uh, presser, backup buddy, headboard. Uh, there's the Zigger Press, WM Adobe, Upfront, Spirit Flexor. These are themes. So, Soliloquy. That's a good good one right there, but I want to. I got another one that's better if I can find it. Where did it go? Okay, so no, it's not in there. Nope. 
should be on its own. Well, I know what another copy of one is, so we can go get it. Um, let's see what press button is that one there. Let's see, we want to smush it, ultimate Facebook, ultimate branding. Let's go ahead and hook that one up. So I need that. Big plug in. Alright, add a new one. Let's upload one more. Sorry I'm taking so long with the uploading of these guys. I'm just trying to find the right ones. Because um, I have some really cool ones. There's just a lot of them. And I'm not going to get on chat capabilities just yet. Um, so let's go ahead and back out of this folder. And then layer slider. Let's go ahead and give them layer slider. This is what I was looking for. Um, so let's go ahead and add that in there. The layer slider is kind of like having Photoshop in your WordPress site, so it's really cool. Um, he should like this because he'll be able to create and cut up layers. I'm actually going to put two sliders, sliders in here because he might like one above the other. But you can pretty much do all kinds of stuff, animations, everything. We'll actually go to the layer slider page uh, right now, matter of fact. Let's go ahead and look it up so I can show you what these sliders can actually do. All right. Because you're going to love it. This is awesome. Now everything that is done on this slider or on this website is done with this slider. You see all these effects, how they're all falling, all this stuff. And these are actually templates you can use and you can adjust the elements. Every one of these. You see how all this works? It all comes at you. This is what layer slider can do. I have another one called rev slider as well. So as you can see, this is a really super cool slider. It's fully animated and it's really super cool. I think he'll really like this uh, being our test subject client. So let's get back to loading up the rest of our things. So that's loaded up in here now. So now let's go to plugins and we'll add a couple more. Now we want to add, um, let's look up galleries, which galleries can be created with that layer slider as well. Let's type in 3D gallery. Alright, let's see here. And then we'll go do a search. When you're doing these, I like to do a search on Google first. WordPress 3D gallery. Boom. See what the demo looks like, and it's got a five star rating. Well, that's really cool. So let's check that out. Screenshots, boom. It was a year ago. Eh. Let's see if there's anything else. Let's see. Odell, I've heard of this one, so let's check that one out. And then we have Medias. I always use uh, WPre uh, Tiles as well. That one looks really good. Um, Sonic, Video WordPress themes, Magic Book. Let's go back up here and check out these top ones. So let's look up Odell. Let's see what this one's all about. It's actually a $59 theme. Let's see what it does. Okay, so yeah. We're going to go ahead and stick with the free versions, though. So let's go ahead and uh, WordPress 3D Gallery. Let's type in. Let's see what this one does. You see, with that layer slider, we can cl create slide galleries too, because that's kind of what these are. So, we're looking for a rotating kind of gallery. So, let's put 3D uh, rotating. Gallery. 
this one might be good. And this one has products. Does it work on mobile devices? Blah, blah, blah. Let's see if they got a demo. Usually if they don't have a demo set up, I really don't like downloading them either. And this one's got some low star ratings. So let's see what this does. Okay, so that's like four, four products. So I think we'll go with that first one we've seen. Um, so we're trying to find something kind of original for them. So that one we've looked at. Simple Cage, WooCommerce 360. So now that one might be something. That's a 360 image. So yeah, that's just going to spin the image. That's not what we want. So 3D Photo Gallery. I think this is the one we're going to go for. So we'll go ahead and copy that. Come back here. See if we can find it in here. Do -do. That's got 6,000. Awesome Flickr gallery. Um, so this one's got 60,000, which that one's probably a good one. Anything that's got several hundred thousand, or several thousand, I'm sorry, is usually a good one. Um, 3D photo gallery. Substance. And you can always click on more details and check it out. Let's see what the demo looks like. Oh yeah, so you got all these different galleries here. Beauty cubes and all these different ones. So this would be good. So I'm really looking for that one, the Lahib Ahmed. So this is the one that we looked up. So let's go ahead and install that one, and we'll install that one too. And I'll go ahead and activate the first one that's got 60,000 downloads. See how this has got five stars and 60,000? He's only got 500, but he's got a five star, so I'll go ahead and trust it this once. And we'll turn them both on. And then there's two more plugins we got to install, and we should be in business. And then we can start designing and theming and everything out. So let's go. One of those plugins might not have turned on, so we'd have to go in there and turn it on. But um, we need uh, CSS. Um, usually pops up. Simple custom CSS and JavaScript. Definitely want that. So we'll activate that. And to make it easier to design the pages even on the front page, I install a little framework uh, called Site Origins that allows you to build grids um, and it la basically lays out the, the CSS foundation um, frames, grids, responsive grids uh, for you to place all your objects in. So it makes it a lot simpler, a lot faster to put everything in the blocks so that way your coding is minimal. Uh, and you still got to code the heck out of this thing. but. Um, let's go ahead and we'll find that uh, it's called site origins and this is our grid and we can use this on pages or we can use this in widgets um, site origins. Uh, let's look up site real quick see what pops up Let not pop out. Let me look it up real quick. Up. Side origin. Well, it's one word. That's why. It's been a while since I used it. But we'll go back here. And let's throw that in there. So it's got over 1 million active installations. So it's definitely good. I usually install this one plus the page builder side origin, I do that. And uh, there's one other one I do. I think it's this ultimate add-ons down here. Install that. Um, do -do, do -do, do -do. Why is this is that the other one? Let's see this one has real quick. Blog widget, widget summary, customer, portfolio widget, tabs widget, recording widget. 
Okay. So yeah, we'll go ahead and, and we'll take that one and we'll turn that one on. All right, let's add another one. You see we're adding a lot of widgets because we're gonna use them all. Um, the other one we're gonna use, um, I'm gonna put Studio Press because due to our Genesis theme, we need to add some Studio Press. So Genesis Connect for WooCommerce, you gotta have that for WooCommerce to work. And that's pretty much it, that's all we have to do. Now I'll talk to you in class, you guys have a good day.